Hey, what's up, Kavanas? Yes, boys, we are back with episode 12, I do believe. Uh, don't bother me if I'm wrong, but this time I'm wide awake for this episode. But yes, we're back with the Fiorentina career mode. It's going really well, obviously. Coming back to three January transfer window episodes with the three new signings. So anyway, let's get started. We don't want to waste time anymore. We're trying to reach the tail end of the season really, really soon. So in the last episode, we played Sampdoria. We lost 1-0, but we beat AC Milan 1-0, which is pretty weird considering that Milano are better squad. In today's episode, we will be simming the game against Al Suolo, but we'll be playing against Roma and Torino. Player of the episode of the last episode, I'm going to have to give it to Alessio Gragno. He made a bunch of an amazing saves. I know I didn't leave a lot in, but he did make a lot of crucial saves and we didn't do too well, to be honest. As for the final objectives, nothing has changed other than Gucci has getting one more goal. So that means he has nine out of 10. He needs one more goal and I'm pretty sure he's going to complete it in this episode. So with that all out of the way, we have the monthly scout reports here. For the first time, we do have Greece and we do have Argentina. So before we get into that, we're looking at the players we already do have and i'm not gonna lie they're looking good other than these two i'm kind of tempted to release them but you know what we'll wait till the end of the season maybe the overall will grow i don't care too much about the potential because we have dynamic potential but these players are still young so depending on where they are in overall we'll release them or not okay coming up first it is going to be for argentina so there's only four players absolutely no one good okay so first argentina scout report was pretty trash i think this is the grease one okay can we find another Kutsias? Can we find another young talent from Greece? And no, at the moment we can't. Moving on to the final one. It is for Italy and it's not looking good boys again. We're not getting any youth talent in the past like what? Two months we haven't gotten a player. So I mean, it's fine. We have lots and lots of players there, but hopefully soon we get a really good talent. Just in case you haven't watched the past couple episodes, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys a signing. So we did sign Quisans. We did sign Adam Hosek. We did bring in Monty from the Youth Academy. And as well, I don't know why he's not on the bench. We brought in Matteo Lovato. So three pretty young signings as well as the youth academy players so we're just using the squad a little bit more that might be a problem because we won't have experience but there's a couple players that have been playing a lot so hopefully we do have the experience but the main idea of this series is to rebuild Fiorentina to become a giant in the Italian league and also another reminder we're currently in second place we're six points behind Napoli they're running away with the title at the moment so hopefully we can catch up before we do get started I did get a suggestion somebody was pretty mad in the comments that somebody here has a tucked in shirt and you know what i kind of liked gutias having a tucked in shirt but you know what i respect their wishes gutias will not have an untucked shirt if i can change it i'm not sure if i can change it you know what let's give them a tight fit let's give them a long sleeve let's deck them out a little bit i prefer players with long sleeve and a tight fit kit so gutias has no more tucked in shirt so you guys should be happy now but we have our first sim game in a while in the first game of the episode today against aswala who in 10th place Maybe we shouldn't say in this game, but like I said, we want to get three games per episode, two games played in one sim. So we're at home. We have an advantage. Let's go ahead and sim it, and it is going to be a 2 no victory. Gutierrez has completed the objective. I wish I would have scored it with him, but he still scored it, so he has 10 goals this season. That's another objective completed in the bag. Nick, Gutierrez has been a gem. Thank you for the suggestion, Last FIFA, because if it wasn't for that suggestion, Last FIFA, he probably wouldn't be in the channel at all. So... We just picked up a goal as well as Haggy, so we're looking pretty good in the league now. As you can see, Dusan Vlahovic has returned to the training session. So we're gonna leave him out of the squad for this next game because he still has no stamina and we don't I mean there's no we can't play him, okay? He still has a little bandage there, so there's no way for us to, you know, play him. So maybe in the last game of this episode he'll come back to the squad. But Gutis has been shining, so I might have to put Dusan starting off in the bench. But today we're playing against Roma and Roma are a very good team. Tammy Abraham on top is always a danger. Zaniolo on the right, who I recently found out is a very strong player in the game. Okay, he has like 88 strength, which is absolutely insane considering he's, he's, he looks kind of lanky in real life. But anyways, not about that. But today we have Roma FC and I'm going to keep the lineup the same as usual. I want to give Adam Hosek a chance as well to play a little bit more. He needs to score his first Serie A goal. He's yet to score his first Serie A goal. The only goal he has scored so far this season was against Juventus in the Cup when we did lose. So let's go ahead and get to this game away from home and hopefully pick up a victory. Okay, boys, Roma FC is going to be no easy feat. Mourinho, obviously, leading the squad on the other side. But Tammy Abraham is leading the line for them. My dog's collar is so annoying, bro. But anyways, we're looking to win this game, like I said, in the Serie A. They're currently in fourth place. We need to slowly catch up to Napoli if we want to win the league title. I'm okay without winning the title, but if we're already there, might as well win it, you know? Okay, they get with the ball early, and now it's Pino. Pino wins the ball. Pino. It's Hagi. Hagi on the ball. A couple more games, and Dusan should be back, even though Gutierrez is shining. Dusan is going to be a safer pair of hands. I mean, safer pair of feet in the up top, but now it's Pino. Oh, oh it's Mkhitaryan running down that wing. Mkhitaryan's looking dangerous. Come on, Odriozola. Catch up. You've been amazing this season. By the way, should we send Odriozola next season? Leave it down in the comments before they score on us here. Great tackle by Milenkovic, though. And now we're going on the counterattack. It's Hagi. Yeah, it's Hagi. Looking for that through ball. He does find Gutierrez. Gucci has already 10 goals this season. Can he get his 11th of the season? It's Gucci has tries to cut back, but he does get denied. Oh, cars up. <sighs> Zaniolo. Finds cars up. Cars up now. Pellegrini versus cars up. Great tackle by Pellegrini, who's been an amazing signing this season. It's Gonzalez. Gonzalez loses the ball. 
Finds it back to Pellegrini though, and now it's Pellegrini on that run. Pellegrini looking for his first assist of the season. It's still Pellegrini running down the wing. Pellegrini looking for a cross. Surely that's a red ref. That's a red. How is that not a red ref? Oh my God, that's nothing, nothing but the being, nothing but the man. He's hit nothing but the man. Didn't even touch the ball, but we get denied of an amazing counter attack. Come on, bro, that should have been a red. Milinkovic, Araujo, Araujo, finds Pugar, finds Hagi. It's Yanis Hagi. Hagi, finish shot from there. Oh, imagine, bro. Milinkovic versus Cars up. Come on. Milinkovic, you better win this. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Milinkovic. Okay, Milinkovic finds Gonzalez. It's about to be halftime. Can we get a goal before halftime? Okay, no. You know what? The ref is going to blow this up. It's been a decent half. Roma have been dominating us, to be fair. We've had one attack, and I got broken down by a foul. So, hopefully, we can improve in the second half. You know what? We need some We need some creativity on that left side. We're going to take off Gonzalez. Hasn't made the best runs, but the ball is playing on that left side. So, we're going to continue playing on that left side, but with Adam Jose, who has a little bit more. Better dribbling in my opinion. Attack boy, now it's Hagi. Surely, counter attack. Surely we're gonna score. It's Hagi. Through ball into Kutias. He's gonna hold it because he's not fast enough. It's Kutias now. Kutias finds Hagi. Hagi looking for through ball. He does find Hosek. Who's gonna help him out? It's the Hosek. Cuts back. Hosek. Hosek still. Hosek on his right foot. Finish from there. Oh, great block by the defender, bro. Gonna make two more subs. Might as well. We're gonna move Hosek to the right side. Put Monty in. Give him more game time. He's looking dangerous every time he comes on. And we're taking off Pulgar because his lack of passing. Maybe Guisans can help out and, you know, pass it a little bit better because. We know Pulgar is good at defending, but our defense is doing well, so we don't need Pulgar right now. It's Mkhitaryan now. Mkhitaryan on the ball. It's Mkhitaryan. Oh, it's Mkhitaryan. Mkhitaryan, down that wing. Mkhitaryan, crosses it in. Oh, we got lucky. They missed, bro. Oh, they could have scored from that. Thank God, bro. We stand on the ball. Does find Hagi. And now it's Yanis Hagi. He's going to come back. Yanis Hagi gets past one and... Bro, bye, bro. It's Yanis Hagi now. It's still Hagi. It's still Hagi. Hagi. Threw ball into Adam Hosek. And now it's Adam Hosek on the ball. Adam Hosek looking to get past the one. Ah, oh, bro. Come on, Jose. Gotta do better. It's very two. Cuisante. <gasps> okay, Cuisante wins the ball. It's Cuisante now. Does find Kutias. Kutias, get to it. Oh, come on, bro. I, I meant to pass it to Hagi. I don't know why I went all the way over. Tell me, looking for through ball. I know he's looking for Pellegrini there. Tell me, he finds Pellegrini. It's Pellegrini on the ball now. Pellegrini, looking for a shot. He does find whoever's on that left wing. Clear it out, Odri. Oh, my God, bro. Odri Azola almost let it, let it go out, but... Whoever was on that left wing for Roma has completely missed that shot right in front of the goalkeeper. He's surely not going to forget that. It's Hagi again. Hagi's looking to... Hagi! What are you doing, bro? You got you got to get the ball. You're the best player on the pitch right now because Dusan's not here. You got to get that ball. Great tackle by Araujo. And now it's Hagi now. Hagi. Hosek. Hosek finds Kutsias. Kutsias, hold it. Kutsias, hold it. Okay. Oh, my God. Kutsias, bro. Oh, my God. It's Dude, this game has been so boring, bro. We, nobody has scored. Like, oh, my God. We need to score now. Hagi. Hagi finds Hosek. And now it's Kutsias. Kutsias, don't lose it. It's Kutsias. Still Kutsias. Looks for Hagi. Oh, my God. Kutsias, stop losing it. Hosek, Hosek, finds Kusias. Kusias, can he get past? Okay, Kusias gets past. On his left foot, can he finish? Beautiful shot, and it's a great save for the first time for Rui Patricio. This is literally the first uh, shot he saves. The first shot we've had on target. Four minutes left to go. Can we please score from this corner? Okay, we're going to look for Hosek. We're running to the deep end with Hosek. Can he finish it? Great header, and it goes wide, bro. Oh, my God. Three minutes left to go. Please, we have to get a winner here. It's Odio Zola. I really don't want to tie to Roma, but I still don't mind tying to Roma, but I really want to win. It's Hosek. Finds. Gutiérrez finds Quisans and now it's Quisans. He has so much space. It's still Quisans. Quisans is gonna pass it back into Hagi. Can he finish? Let's go. Hagi has won the game. Surely for us. That was such an easy goal compared to this whole game, bro. This whole game was very difficult to get past, and they just let us get past so easy. But Quisans gets an assist. Hagi gets another game winner. That's his third game winner in the past four episodes, bro. This man has been absolutely amazing for him. Probably the best signing in my opinion this season. I know Quisans has been really good, but Hagi has surely been the best signing this season so far. But Quisans easy route to the box and he just passes it to Hagi and of course he's gonna finish that 10 times out of 10 so we have surely won this game three points in the bag against Roma away from home it's such a good victory man okay boys Dusan is still out sadly he won't be in this episode but hopefully in the next oh, I was really I was really looking forward to using him in this next game but it's okay Dusan get your rest hopefully you come back soon okay boys that victory against Roma has still put us three points behind Napoli we're getting really close to them but now we have a tough game against Torino okay as for the lineup we're putting Hosek in that left wing position Gonzalez again continuing to to not impress me man so we're gonna put Hosek on the left side Bino didn't really get too much of the ball so he's gonna stay on but that's pretty much it so we're away from home again against Torino Belotti is a big danger and Brecalo as well but everybody else doesn't seem too much of a danger but he has a decent goal keeper and Izo is a really good defender but I think we should get this victory but I've said that I said that against Amdoria and look what happened so hopefully we can perform well today okay boys as the commentator said it's a splendid day for football it is sunny we're away from home though no home fan advantage but like I said I'm looking forward to winning this game okay we've been in amazing form other than that Sampdoria game especially in the sims we usually do good in the sims so I'm not worried about that so we should at least win one game per episode at least we have a tough one then we probably will lose the same game but 
Torino should be an easy feat, but I, I don't even want to say that because last time I said that, we lost to Sampdoria 1 0. So let's just get into this game right away. Already looking for a through ball early in the game. And it's Alvarado. Alvarado running down that wing. Okay, Pellegrini win the tackle. Okay, easy win. And now it's Adam Hosek on his first start in a while. It's Adam Hosek does find Ianis Hagi. Ianis Hagi is looking for some space. Ianis Hagi, I do see Kuchas making a run. Kuchas gonna hold it. He sees Jeremy Pino. Pino, surely has to go. Jeremy Pino, the unluckiest player in the team. Jeremy Pino, can he finish? And yes, he does. Finally, bro. This man struggles so much to get goals. Because like I said, he's very unlucky. But it's 1-0 in the fifth minute. We're off to a great start. Yermi Pino has been a decent signing so far. Like I said, very unlucky, man. Like we've seen in the past hitting, him hitting the post or the goalkeeper making an outrageous save. But this time he has put it away. Kuchas with a brilliant turn to send that through ball into Yermi Pino. And it all started from that, from that left side with Hosek. But it's 1-0 already. I'm looking to have a very good game today. Like maybe like a 4-0. That would be amazing. Okay, it's Pulgar. Pulgar on the ball. Pulgar looking for that through ball. Finds Yanis Hagi. Who's going to cut back? It's Yanis Hagi. It's Yanis Hagi now. It's still Yanis Hagi. Okay, that's a, that's a red card. Surely, bro. You cannot be following Hagi like... Yeah, thank you. Hagi is literally too good at dribbling, bro, that they have to follow him each and every time. Carol and Eti gets sent off. Surely this game, this, surely this game is going to be a walk in the park now. Castro Vili. Castro Vili. You know what? I'm going to have a final shot here. Castro Vili with a shot. If that goes in, bro. Dude, I really want to score a banger, bro. That was actually an insane shot. The dip was so much. Maybe a little bit less powerful would have gone in. Did it hit the crossbar by any chance? Oh, it almost hit the crossbar. Bro, that was an amazing shot. I, I thought that was going nowhere. I even thought the defender was going to block it. But Castro really pulls out another amazing shot. But uh, it just doesn't go in, man. That, that has to be Vinicius, bro. Dennis Pry. Dennis Pry on the ball. Dennis Pry finds Belotti. Belotti looking for a finish. Great save by Kragno, bro. Oh my god, Kragno such... I was about to say, Kragno such a good goalkeeper. That's not his fault, though. I don't know why Aldrizola didn't pick up the ball, man. They've actually equalized 1-1. I want, I want them to zoom in. I only want to see if that's Vinicius Jr., but... Oh, come on, man. How is this happening to us? Great save by Gragno. Aldrizola, you're supposed to be winning that, bro. Come on. Belotti on the counter-attack once again. It's Bricalo. Back into Belotti. Belotti looking for the attack. Finds Belotti again. Belotti with a shot. Great block by the defender. But Belotti picks it up again. It's this guy. Junior. It's Junior now. I think it's Vinicius. Okay, great tackle. He went back. Oh, but we lose it again. Dennis Pryor now with the shot. Can he get score a banger? Okay, it goes wide, bro. If he would have scored a banger before me, I would have been extremely mad. I see Hosek making that run. Okay, it's Ho Adam Hosek now. Adam Hosek. Surely this is a goal. Adam Hosek. Looking for that through ball for Kutsias. Can he finish first time? Kutsias with the header. Oh, I wish he would have volleyed it, bro. But it's a great chance nonetheless. See? Oh, uh, Pobega now. Pobega. Pobega on the ball. Pellegrini. Come on, I gotta win this. It's Alvarado. Great tackle by Araujo, but he loses it. It's Dennis Pryde inside the box. Oh my god, bro. Araujo, you can't do that ever again, bro. I'll literally bench you. It's Adam Hosek now. It's Yanis Hagi. He's looking for the turn. Yanis Hagi. Who, who's gonna run? Nobody's running. Okay, it's still Yanis Hagi. He's gonna keep the ball. Yanis Hagi is gonna turn. I do see Adam Hosek on the other side. Hosek has to be your first city I go. Please, Hosek. Please, Hosek. Finish on your right foot. Dude, he hit the post, bro. He actually hit the post. But Pino wins it back. It's Hagi. Yanis Hagi finds Pino again. It's Pino. Finds Pulgar, finds Hosek. Hosek on the finish shot with your right foot. Beautiful. F no, it's not a beautiful finish, man. I can't believe Hosek hit the post, bro. He's so unlucky today. Great tackle, but they do win it back. And it's Belotti again. Belotti finds Junior. Okay, okay, clear it out. Oh my god, what was going on? One minute stoppage time. Surely this half is over. We're going drawn 1 1 to a 10 man Torino side, bro. What is going on with me right now? We cannot, we cannot absolutely lose. We cannot lose this game, bro. It would be actually, what is wrong with my hair? It would be embarrassing if we lost this game with a 10 man Torino, so. We need to focus. Listen to Hagi. Hagi looking for that through, but Hosek, why did you stop running, bro? But Hosek wins it back. Hosek, please. First Serie A go. Oh, this is it. Hosek, please finish hold on his left foot. Let's go, boys. He has finally scored his first Serie A goal of the season. It's taken a while. It's taken like five plus games. But he finally puts it away. Surely he's going to go firing now. He's an amazing player. We all know that. An amazing young talent. Beautiful through ball from Hagi, though. It was a beautiful through ball, which didn't get to him. Horrible defending by whoever that was. And Hosek does great to pressure. Picks up the ball and on his left foot finishes it easily. Picks up the ball. And now it's Pulgar who's going to turn. And now it's Kutsias. Kutsias. Kutsias now. Looking for a through ball. Beautiful ball into Pino. Yeremi Pino now. Yeremi Pino. Can you find a cross? Yeremi Pino. I see Hosek on the other side. Crossing all the way. Pino, what is that horrible cross, bro? He wins it back though. And now it's Adam Hosek. It's Adam Hosek. He's going to cut to his left because he's left footed. It's still Hosek. Oh, Hosek, you got to get past. Dennis Pryor. Dennis Pryor. Okay, Araujo win it back. Great tackle by Araujo. And he surely wins it back. And now it's Yanis Hagi. We're on the counter-attack now. Yanis Hagi passes it all the way. Oh, bro, I, I'm getting impatient, bro. Great tackle by Pulgar. Can he win it again? Come on, come on. Pulgar, please win it. Pulgar, Pulgar. Great tackle by Pulgar. Pulgar, through ball to Kuchas. Surely has to go. Kuchas, I'm going to give it to him. He's going to finish it. Kuchas on his right foot. Surely he's going to finish Kuchas. No, no, I'm, I have to. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I could have passed it to Hagi. I'm Kuchas. I'm sorry. This is not the end of you. But you have to be subbed out for that. You you, ha you absolutely have to. Okay, I could have usually passed it Hagi. I'm like, no, I want to give the goal to Kutsias. He couldn't finish it, Matt. I'm, I'm, Nick, I know I know you're going to be mad. I, a bunch of you are going to be mad. 
I have to take him off for that. I surely have to take him off for that. Jose like, through the ball. And to me, Pino. Pino is gonna cross it back in. Okay, never mind. Pino's gonna hold it. Pino. It's still Pino. Pino. Finds Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Back into Hagi. Into Jose. Can he finish again? Jose for his double, bro. It's a great save by the goalkeeper. Gonzalez. Finds Hagi. It's Hagi. Hagi on his right foot. Can he finish? Beautiful shot. And it's a beautiful goal. Finally. Finally, we have scored a banger. It's been so long, bro. It's been so long since scored a banger. That's that's an absolutely beautiful goal. That is one of the best goals I've ever scored in FIFA. That's insane. Bro, out of nothing, too. I took the ball. I'm like, you know what? Let me have a shot. Finish shot. Oh, my. We have to watch that. That is such a beautiful... That's a beautiful goal, bro. Hagi. Oh, my God. He's going to do that stupid-ass replay. We have to wait for the replay to go. A 360. But, boys, come on. Hype me up in the comments, bro. I've been trying to score a banger for so long. Look at that. Look at the dip, bro. Oh, my God. That was beautiful. That's so hype, bro. Great tackle. We win the ball once again, bro. We're looking to dominate this game, okay? Let me be no. Finds a through ball. It's Jose. Jose, come on. Get a brace. Jose, it's still Adam Jose. It's Jose. Jose, oh, he gets denied, bro. I was looking for a shot. Yeremi Pino. Yeremi Pino comes back. Okay, he's gonna come back. Pino, turn. Okay, oh, he does some dirty, bro. Bye, bro. Put yourself to bed, bro. It's Hagi now. It's Hagi. Hagi finds Jose. Adam Jose looking for a through ball. Finds Gonzalez, who has not done anything in a while. It's Gonzalez now. Who's he gonna find? Gonzalez comes back inside. It's Gonzalez. It's Gonzalez. Finds Jose. Jose on his left foot. It's still Jose. Okay, he loses it. But Pellegrini picks it up now. It's Pellegrini. Pellegrini running down the wing. Pellegrini looking for a cross. It's a cross in. It's Pino. Can he finish? Ah, oh, bro. Three minutes left to go. Surely this game is won. I actually want to score one more goal. I'm being selfish. I want to score a goal. Hagi. Hagi now. Hagi finds Gonzalez. Finds Adam Hosek. Hosek on his left foot. Can he finish from there? Beautiful shot. And it's a great save by the goalkeeper. Last corner of the game. Last play of the game, probably. I need to find Hosek. Okay. Hosek's the top one. Okay. Hosek, run. Hosek, run now. Hosek, win it. <gasps> No, nobody could finish it, bro. I don't know what, I, what noises were coming out of my mouth, but the game is won. 3-1. Sad to concede the goal. But we should have maybe scored a couple more. They have had a red since the start, first half, but Gutierrez, you miss an absolute sitter, bro. You, you deserve to be, like, sent to the bench after that. But a 3-1 victory. We finally scored that banger that we've been waiting for. It's an amazing episode. Okay, boys, this episode, we got nine points out of possible nine. And guess who what? We're top of the league. We're actually top of the league, bro. Napoli picked up points, but our goal difference, that, that third goal, that third and second goal were so crucial. We have taken the lead by goal difference now. I can't believe we're in first place. Okay, and that is the end of this episode. This series is going really well. Okay, boys. We have started playing ultimate in this series, and it's going really well. So maybe we might have to bump it up next season with the salaries just a little bit, but we'll see. We still struggle just like from time to time, but I think this team is really good. The reboot has been amazing. If we wouldn't have so chess at the beginning of the season, to be honest, we probably would be kind of low on the table. But Dusan Vlakovic, by the way, should be back in the next episode. Let's see. Yeah, he's still in that little injury mark, so hopefully by next episode, he's back. If you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure to click that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell. Get notified anytime we do post. We're trying to reach 1,000 subscribers as soon as possible. At the time of recording, we're 10 subscribers away from 700. Even by the time this episode comes out, we can already have 700. So shout out to y'all for the amazing support recently. Make sure to always do the things that you love, the things that make you happy, and just be yourself, man. It's been your boy, Edgar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day. Yeah? Chamos.